Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at oil painting effects. Now one of my viewers asked me how does Photoshop Elements 14 handle oil painting effects? Well let's take a look. If we go down to the bottom there is the FX button here. So if I click on that FX button you have three different options up here. Effects, Filters, and Styles. Under the effects we go to the drop down box and we select painting. And as you can see, there are only three options there. One of them is oil painting. So let's click on that and see what that looks like. Now I have this photo that I took in Normandy and I will zoom out a little bit because that's a little bit too much for you to see on this video. But as you can see, it took that photo and created an oil painting and it even gave it some texture. Now some people don't like the texture, that is a canvas texture as if you're actually painting, but unfortunately there are no brush strokes on it, so it doesn't really look that much like a painting. I'm going to revert this by going to Edit Revert, back to the original photo, and then I'm going to show you another option. So if you don't like this option right here, under the effects, under painting, we're going to go to our smart brush. Our smart brush is under the enhance, which is right there. You go down one from that, or you can hit the F key on your keyboard, will take you to the smart brush. Go down to your tool options. If you can't see them, click on this button right here that says tool options. Then we're going to choose the down arrow, and then we're going to select the artistic preset. And then the fourth one over on the artistic preset is the oil pastel. Now one of the things that you don't have the option of doing is using the oil pastel in the effects, and I'm not exactly sure why Adobe did that. But we're going to click on any part of this photo, and we're going to click and paint, and it doesn't matter how much you paint, just click and paint a little bit. Press the Command D or the Control D to get rid of the marching ants, and then select your layers. And as you can see, there is a mask right there. It's masking parts of this off because you only painted a very small portion of that photo. If we get rid of this by right clicking and we delete the layer mask, it's going to apply that oil pastel to the entire photo. So now we have oil pastel. Now some people might say, well, I really want to have some sort of a texture. Well, the textures that you have offered from Photoshop Elements 14 are under the filter, texture, and then texturizer. So if you select that, you can see that you have all these different types, but the one that's missing is any kind of brush strokes. Now, as you can see on this one, I have some brush strokes, and that's because I created my own. Let's jump over to the internet and let's go to texturepalace.com. The people over at texturepalace.com have offered us four different oil textures that we can download. If you click on these and save them to your desktop, they'll be in JPEG format. Before you can use them in the texturizer though, you have to convert those to PSD documents. So I'm going to go back to the elements editor, hit cancel, and then I'm going to open one by going to file open. Just remember where you save them. I'm going to select this third one right here and I'm going to open it. Now unlock the locked layer by double clicking the lock and then we're going to convert this over into a black and white by going to enhance convert to black and white I'm just going to select portrait right there and then OK now we have this black and white and I'm going to save this out as a Photoshop document by going to file save as and it defaults as a Photoshop document we don't need the layers so we're going to select save. Now that we have these saved, we're going to jump back to our original photo. We're going to go back to filter. We're going to select texture, then texturizer. And then where this drop down arrow is, very small drop down arrow right here, we're going to drop that down. We're going to load the texture. As you can see, none of the JPEGs are offered as an option, but the ones that I saved out as a PSD are an option, so I will select it and hit load. It will automatically put 
that texture on our photo. We can also change the amount of relief or the amount of effect that it is. We can also drop that down. We can also change the scaling so that the brush strokes seem a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. When we're happy with what we want, or if we want to invert these so it looks like it goes down a little bit, then we select OK. And then there we have our new photo, which is oil pastel with a little bit of texture. Let me zoom out just a tiny bit so you can see that texture just a little bit more. And there you have your different options for the oil painting in Photoshop Elements 14. This is Chucky. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Cheers!